I am from the South Hayward neighborhood over by the Southgate Elementary School. I've been living in South Hayward now for 18, over 18 years. Uh, five years. 21 years. I've just lived everywhere, Walnut Creek, Concord, and it seems that Hayward is the place that I want to settle down in and, you know, grow roots, which is why I've been here for so long. La, la amistad que he agarrado con muchas amigas. He tenido mucha ayuda de parte de, de ellas, pero también, sobre todo, que he encontrado mucha ayuda de parte del distrito y de la ciudad aquí de Hayward. I really like the area I live in. I like living in Hayward. It's nice and it's quiet. There, it's just a it's a it's a normal lower middle class neighborhood, mostly working people, and um, just a lot of hardworking people and good people. To be honest, I would like to see uh, more of uh, more patrolling. I guess uh, from police. I know right now they're short staffed, but. You know, once you get up to a certain point, we do have a lot of homelessness and sometimes they do come to the park and they do scare the children. So it just, I mean, I know you can't avoid it, but it would be nice to for the kids to feel a little bit more comfortable when they do come to the park. And I'm not against the homelessness, but it, it would be nice if they were to be rehomed instead of continuously be homeless. I would like to see less people dumping their garbage out on the main road. I've already talked to the mayor about it. And they started doing more for cleaning up, but it, it continues. La seguridad, sobre todo también para nuestros hijos. Yo sé cómo han tratado de quitar un poco el tiempo de los policías dando vueltas en alrededor de la ciudad pero pienso que más para las escuelas de nuestros niños. Se ocupa un poquito más de seguridad, donde puedan ellos sentirse seguros al caminar solos, porque hay mucho niño pequeño que camina solo hasta llegar a, su, a la escuela que le corresponde. San Lorenzo, it's been my community for so long and I've spent so many years helping out at the Little League. It's like, San Lorenzo doesn't define who I am, but it's a large portion of who I am. Good morning, my name is Janelle Ingram and I am a longtime resident of the Ashland Unincorporated area. Good morning, I'm from San Lorenzo and we're unincorporated here in the Alameda County. I think something unique is our location based off where we're at in the Bay Area. There's a lot of home qualities here. I've seen neighbors come and go, I've seen businesses come and go, but um, it's a community community. I definitely would want to see more local business. Um, growing up down Bachman, um, there used to be businesses there and they demolished those to build residence, which is great to house more people, but and even the old Mervyn's parking lot, like growing up as a kid, I'd hear all these stories about, oh, the Mervyn's parking lot is where everyone would be in the San Lorenzo Theater. That was a huge thing that hasn't been occupied in so many years. And, I would think we'd have more of an impact about what happens only here in San Lorenzo and be able to have more of a say. I had like uh, pushed for a, maybe a Trader Joe's that was closer, something more healthful. Um, there's a lot of restaurants, but nothing, nothing healthful. And when I first moved here, there was a lot of little shops. There was a Mervyn's actually right here. And they've torn those places down and haven't refilled them with anything. So there's just open, spaces that are sitting there and that's kind of sad to see. I would like to see more affordable housing. As someone that lives in this area, I'd like to see more affordable housing. I'd like to see better health care. I'd like to see more parks because uh, those are things that I feel are necessary for this, for this community to thrive. Those are things I feel like we need. Children need parks. Older adults need medical care. The head of households need to know that there's a good grocery store that they can go and get fresh fruits and vegetables. Those things, are, that's why I feel like it's important to see those things in this community. Like they did build new apartments that are also an insane price if you want to buy. And just the reality of having a family here, like back and forth from reality and a dream of make that sense of community that I used to be a part of and still a part of. And I'd really love for my, you know, my future to continue in San Lorenzo. I'm from Oakland, California. I live close by Fruville, um, around 23rd Avenue. Aquí en Oakland, en la Fruville tengo como unos cinco años. 
I am from the Fruitvale uh, neighborhood on 34th Avenue. 47 years my whole life. I actually like it. It's pretty calm, nothing uh, pretty crazy going on. <laughs> the neighbors are pretty cool. <laughs> this is where I grew up, born and raised. Um, and my parents are across the street from me. So it's, it's kind of nice to be around family. Yo hasta ahorita tranquila, porque ahí donde vivo la posada está, está muy bien. El edificio está muy bien, está muy bien cuidado. La manager muy atenta, los que trabajan ahí muy amables. Todas las, todo el personal que trabaja ahí muy amables todos. Pero pues todo lo que he vivido yo aquí en Oakland, pues gracias a Dios nunca me ha pasado nada. What I would like to see, you know, when I grew up here, um, I was in my teens, I would be outside uh, playing in the streets, not afraid of a vehicle passing by at 80 miles an hour, no way. Now there's, we got a little issue with, you know, a lot of cars just coming up and down the block. Um, I would love for my children to explore that, to be out and about, go out freely, feeling safe, you know, and not scared. That's what I would like to see. I would like for me to take it back to when I was growing up, you know, in my teen years. Um, my mom and dad would let me ride my bike outside with no worry in sight. Now I, I can't do that with my kids. It's like, are you kidding? I'm, I'm going to freak out. I guess I would just like to see maybe people getting along more. You know, um, well, I guess it looks like less violence. I always, you know, see it happening here or like uh, just this morning, uh, you know, I saw like uh, a commotion going on between two drivers because they were like getting mad and I guess I just want to see less of that <laughs> happening, you know, that doesn't, doesn't it, it's really pointless and yeah, just less violence. One thing I always see on my street always is like uh, sometimes cars, you know, they, they pass the stop sign and you, you know, it's just always important to follow the rules of, you know, driving and to make it safe for everyone, <laughs> for the little ones, you know, we're like role models to them and they, they grow up to see, to do what they see, you know. A un conocido de allá mismo de donde yo soy, eh, venían ellos de trabajar a la una de la mañana, eh, venían de trabajar y ahí los asaltaron, los golpearon con armas, no, lo, no los balasearon, los golpearon con la arma y les quitaron sus cosas. Eran dos y había, y de ahí salió la mamá y sale un niño y pues ya ver el niño todo eso que es a su papá y luego a otro señor que vive ahí. Entonces pues eso les, les yo pienso que eso les afectó mucho y una chamaca. Well, yeah, there's like um, one specific thing that always like, you know, every time I do decide to like take him to the park somewhere close by, I would show up and I would always see like a bunch of kids sitting there smoking pot, you know, and you know, I take my kids to the park for them to like enjoy themselves, not for them to be running around smoke, you know, <laughs> so that's one thing I wish they would like have uh, someone watching the parks, maybe, you know, just to make it safer for the kids and, you know, things like that. Es raro que se vea un carro de policía. Un cambio ahí de que, de que hubiera más policía, de que pasara más policía. No, no uno tras de otro, pero por allá cada dos horas, cada tres horas, o, o pasen en la mañana, pasen a mediodía, pasen al oscurecer, de que digan, ok, se vio esto, se vio esto otro, porque ahí no respetan. De día esa señora, me acuerdo, dos, tres veces yo creo que fue, que la asaltaron a ella ahí. En pleno día. Hay policía, por ejemplo, cuando hay algo. Por ejemplo, como ahora que fueron a quitar los carros y todo eso ahí, ahí estaba la policía. Y... Pero que digas que está yendo policía, que, está, que se ve policía seguido pasando por ahí, eso. No. Es cuando hay algo. Es cuando pasa la policía, pero casi no pasa policía por ahí. <risa>